Disasters can happen at any time, often without warning. Floods, forest fires, severe storms, and other emergency situations can leave you and your family without electricity and access to the supplies you need, such as food, clean water, medication, and personal care items. In an emergency, you may have to evacuate your home quickly, or you may have to remain in your home for several days or longer. It's important to be prepared for both of these possibilities. A grab-and-go bag should be prepared for you and your family in the event you have to evacuate your home quickly. In the event that you have to stay in your home for several days or longer, make sure that you have a 7-10 to 10 day emergency preparedness kit, which really is a grab-and-go bag with a lot more supplies to last your family for a longer period of time. Some disasters can create very unsafe conditions. If your safety is at risk, community officials may ask you to evacuate or leave your home immediately. Attention news factory residents, we are an evacuation alert. Please wait for further instructions. If asked to evacuate, you may have only minutes to get what you need and leave. Before a disaster strikes, prepare a grab and go bag to ensure that you and your family have everything that you need when you evacuate. We suggest that you place items together in one bag or another large bag that you may have lying around the home. However, each family member can have their own grab and go bag as well. The following items are really important to have in your grab and go bag. A copy of your family emergency plan, so we have all your contact information when you evacuate. Water, about a liter per person. Just remember that those with special medical needs or young children might require a little bit more. Food, for a 12 hour period, the food in your grab and go bag should be non-perishable items. Flashlight is also important. It can be a crank filled flashlight or a battery operated flashlight. Just don't forget to pack those extra batteries. Carry photocopies of important documents. Things like health card, your status card, your driver's license, copy of your insurance, any medical information or vaccination records that you may have. You never know when they'll come in handy. Seasonal changes of clothes, two to three sets for each person in the family, house keys for your return home, cash, both coin and bills, basic first aid kit, one per family, medication, personal hygiene items such as toothpaste, soap, toothbrush, feminine hygiene products and deodorant, paper and pen for writing, Special needs items such as canes, walkers, wheelchairs, insulin testers and kits, glasses, hearing aids and extra batteries. If there are babies or toddlers in your family, make sure that you include any items that they may need, such as baby formula, food, baby cereal, bottles, sippy cups, pacifiers, diapers and baby wipes, and toys. The aircraft used for air evacuations have weight limits. Each evacuee is allowed one stowed bag of approximately 40 pounds. Each individual's grab-and-go bag must therefore weigh just under 40 pounds. This weight limit is in addition to any required medical assistive devices you may need, for example, a cane or a wheelchair. Together, we can support First Nation communities in being better prepared for emergencies. Preparing for emergencies is everyone's responsibility. You and your family will be better able to deal with the emergency if you take the time to prepare for an emergency before it happens. Remember these three steps. Know the risks, make a plan, and get your kit. This will make you and your family Red Cross ready.